today we're going to give this laptop a bit of a service and potentially upgrade the CPU and RAM as well. This is the ASUS UX31e laptop and the first thing we'll do is take a look at what the RAM and CPU is installed in this laptop. For this I downloaded and installed a small free program onto the laptop called CPU-Z which can be downloaded at cpuid.com. By the way, all the software I use in this video is free to use. So if I zoom in, here we can see the name of the CPU. It's the Intel Core i7-2677M. It also shows that the package is the Socket 1023 FCBGA, which stands for Flip Chip Ball Grid Array. Any CPU that shows up as a ball grid array will be soldered onto the motherboard, so I won't be replacing the CPU. And if we go to the SPD tab, we can see that this laptop has 2 gigabytes of RAM in slot 1. Nothing in slot 2. 2 gigabytes of RAM in slot 3. And nothing installed in slot 4. So that's 2 times 2 gigabytes of RAM for a total of 4 gigabytes. And let's click on the motherboard tab. CPU Z calls it the main board. And the motherboard is the ASUS UX31e. After searching online about this laptop's motherboard, it soon became clear that you can't upgrade the processor or memory as they are both soldered to the motherboard. So we can't give this laptop an upgrade that the owner wants, but we can still give it a little servicing. For a service, I'm going to update Windows, check the SSD's health, check the CPU is working properly, check the CPU's temperature, clean inside of the laptop, repaste the CPU, and test the CPU temperatures again to see if the repaste and clean has made any difference. So first I updated Windows which took about two hours. Next I checked the SSD's health. For this I used Crystal Disk Info which can be downloaded from crystalmark.info. It shows all blue dots which is a good sign of a healthy SSD and it says that the health status is good. So no problems there. Next I wanted to test the CPU. For this I downloaded Intel's processor diagnostic tool. If you'd like to use this for yourself, just Google Intel processor diagnostic tool and it should come up at the top of the search results. To look at the CPU's temperatures, I downloaded an app called CoreTemp, which can be downloaded at alcpu.com forward slash core temp. So this is the Intel processor diagnostic tool testing the CPU. This test ran for about 12 minutes. And this is the Core Temp app showing us the temperatures of the CPU. During this test, I took a screenshot of this while it was running. The temperature of one of the cores went up as high as 87 degrees Celsius at its hottest. And here's a screenshot of when the processor was running at idle. So the CPU runs at about 60 degrees Celsius when the laptop is turned on but not being used. So let's open up the laptop and give it a clean, repaste the CPU and see if we can bring down the processor's temperatures. So first I need to take out these screws at the back of the laptop and these are slightly unusual screws. So for this I'm using an iFixit kit to take these screws out. The two screws that came from here were a different length to all of the other screws. As you can see this one is much smaller and all of these had these used these smaller screws 
but only these two use the longer ones. So now we can take off the back cover. So this is the whole of the motherboard. The motherboard doesn't carry on past this black battery. This is it. So the processor is just under here and I can't actually see any RAM chips at the moment. So we take out this SSD and see if they're under there. So I have to take off this warranty sticker to access the screw. Next I'm going to disconnect the battery. And then take out the SSD. And here we can see the RAM chips were hidden underneath the SSD. So next we need to take this off so that we can get to the processor and repaste it. So now we should be able to take this off. So here we can see the processor is pasted and this has a thermal pad which luckily has come off all in one piece so we can leave the pad as it is and we'll repaste the processor. So now we have the paste on the processor, we can go ahead and put the fan back on.
and then screw this down again. So now we're going to put the SSD back. And screw it down. Reconnect the battery. And put the tape back on. Also gave this a clean and the vents here a clean. So now this is clean, we can put it back onto the bottom of the laptop. and then screw it into place. So as you can see, the processor is now around 45 degrees Celsius when idle. And here it is after running the Intel processor diagnostic tool. Let's take a screenshot of this so that you can see the temperatures more clearly. So the hottest the CPU got up to during this test was 72 degrees Celsius. So here's the temperatures before and after. As you can see, that's quite an improvement after repasting the processor and giving the laptop a bit of a clean on the inside. But I didn't upgrade the CPU or RAM as they were both soldered onto the motherboard. Replacing the CPU and RAM would require soldering and resoldering, along with certain tools for the job, such as a heat blower, a soldering iron, flux, solder wick and a magnifying glass. And of course you need the skills and know-how to do it. So replacing soldered parts isn't so straightforward. Anyway, this laptop is better off now it's had a bit of a service. Well that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.